Alright, this, this is for the fucking this is the one yin rings. The one <laughs> the one yin rings. The one ring to the more. The one yin ring. What's going on internet? And welcome. I'm Dan Howells. AKA Dover. And this is Dan Loader. AKA Slowly. And we are the 2D show where three times a week, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, bring you a topic of discussion. Um Mondays are topics I bring, Wednesdays are topics Slowly brings, and Friday are topics brought from yourselves. And you can get your voice heard by the best friends at 2D Show on Twitter and email us at topics at 2D Show.com. Yes. So we've recorded both of these well batches. <laughs> if you couldn't if you couldn't tell, we've recorded both these batches at the same time. So at the moment we still don't have any we're also wearing the same clothes as last week. Yeah, well, I, this is what I'm saying. We recorded them both back to back. Just to point out, we the, do the, have other clothing. The wall is broken, and we recorded both these at the same time. You guys know our dirty little secrets. So we don't have topics from you guys yet, because we haven't had time to put the message out. So the topic for today is going to be one that we suggested about on Monday. Yeah. <laughs> this is good. I feel like this one could get messy yeah as in like we need to watch what we say yeah so a topic for today is drunken stories not bad stories not necessarily bad stories not necessarily good stories although i don't know if there are many good stories but stories that took place while we were drunk do you want me to yeah so stories that we f funny times or times that happened while we were drunk and i'll start this one if you want okay so because <laughs> i think the thing is if i just Set it so bad, then your parents will think you're a saint. So <laughs> that's fine. So my story is going to be the first time I ever threw up off alcohol. Everyone's got this story. So yeah, I'll follow it with mine. If you okay, carry on. So my my story is um, I was God. I don't know. Uh, it was with Kurt. It was I know his house. So how oh, I was about fifteen, sixteen. Okay. About that time. And we were around his house. His parents were out. And he turns to me and he's like, Dove, I've got a bottle of tequila in the house. Great. I have never drunk tequila in my life. Don't know what it is. Just know that it's an alcohol. So I was like, cool. Let's do shots. Problem is, again, I'm a bit of a overthinker at some point. So I thought... Let's turn this into a drinking game. This is oh. not my first time drinking. Oh, no. I know about drinking games, but this is my first time on hard spirits. Mm. Maybe vodka here or there, but this is my first you time. You need to play a very different kind of drinking game to pull that which off. Which is the game of go home and go to sleep. <laughs> like, yeah. The, There's a reason you can't buy very many of them when you're out. The reason they're so expensive is so that this doesn't happen. What so expensive? The vomit. What? Shots. <laughs> so... The, we decided to play Trials Biker something on Xbox 360. Have you seen these games? The like It's the 2D games where you're on a little bike and you've got to do all the jumps and stuff and they're really tricky. Oh, and you're, like, you're, you're kind of like left and right. And yeah, like, it's so. a physics-based game. Yeah. And you're, the whole point is to get from point A to point B without dying. So me and Kurt decided to come up with a game. Again, this is Kurt's game. Kurt's played this before. I have not. Oh, and I dude. was like, every time you die, do a shot. So far, you've made already made so many the, rookie dude, mistakes. Dude, this was I. I was a rookie at this point. Yeah. So um, I, I'm like Kurt. Every time we drink, every time we die, we do a shot. Every time you beat the level, the other person does a shot. <laughs> oh. And dude, I don't, the levels are not long. Like they're like a minute in length each. If that, but they're really technical. So the whole point is you're falling over and you're you're dying all the time. So, um, I don't know who went first. I don't even know what level we played. But, of course, we're doing shots. We're dying. We're doing a shot. Someone passed the level. They do a shot. And the more shots you do, the more you die, the harder the game becomes because you're... Dude, we were smashed. Like, there's no other way around it. Like, oh, dude. So, um, our friends Ash and <laughs> come round later on in the night. And I have no recollection, recollection, recollection of time. Um, this was literally seven, eight years ago. Yeah. And um, they started getting involved. And eventually, I didn't find this out until a, a while later, but who back then was a bit of a... 
she liked to instigate certain things. And this day, she decided to instigate me getting very fucking drunk. So already I've done, me and Kurt finished this bottle of tequila. Like a big bottle of tequila. Like, <laughs> but at the end of the night, that bottle was gone. Oh no. But she ended up mixing it with like something else where I was having half a shot of tequila, half a shot of something else. Oh, that's nice of it. Yeah, I know, right? And I had never mixed my drinks before because like I always learned that was the bad thing to do. Like you never mix drinks. Like you pick one drink and that's it. Like... Like that is rookie mistake one of the standards you should have stuck to. So and it, yeah, it did not stay. So like this caused me great discomfort. <laughs> so, <laughs> the night ended with me in Kurt's A and E. <laughs> no, no, it didn't. But the night ended with I remember Kurt being drunk as well. So Kurt tells the story of he wasn't Kurt. You were fucking wasted as well. But it ended with me in his kitchen sink. <laughs> Yes, I know, right? <laughs> end of me. You cannot chastise someone for being drunk and then say it ended with me being in his kitchen sink. So, I was, oh, dude, I was a fucking mess. It is embarrassing. I was in his kitchen sink and I okay. threw up into his kitchen sink. Ash and <laughs> walked in like, Dove, are you okay? And I was like, yeah, I'm fine. I'm, I'm fine. I just need a minute. <laughs> Violently. Started to... I blocked his sink up at this point. I was so I can sick. imagine. Like... Did so you order food at any point as I well? St- uh, maybe. Probably. Oh. Started putting my hand in to break everything up in the sink. Right? Like started oh, no. pushing the little chunklets. Started smushing them down the thing so the water would go down. Not and only is this episode not safe for work, it's not safe for tea. Like, <laughs> do, do not be eating while you watch I'm, this. I'm throwing up. I'm breaking it. I'm whatever. I remember s- succinctly they felt like... Um, potato peels. So I don't know if potato peels were already in the sink, like like someone had chopped potato. But I remember being like, "This is potato peels, right?" That that vision has stuck with me so far. But what I ended ended up doing was you need this. Sorry, I no, I'm like <laughs> I'm moving around. What I ended up doing was talking to myself, trying to psych myself up, being like, "Come on, dope, you're okay," and I started slapping myself. My hands were covered in puke. And oh. I was slapping myself, being like, no, you're okay. Oh. You're okay. <sighs> Slap myself when I snap out of being fucking paralytic. And that, that was the first time. And till that, since that day, I've only ever had one shot of tequila in my life. The smell makes me gag. I, am, I quite like a tequila. Dude, I hate it. I can't even do it with salt and lime if I get my taste out of your mouth. Like, the instant that taste hits my tongue, the way my taste buds, I'm, I'm retching. Like, uh, I can't do it. I quite like, well, I don't, I don't like the taste of it, but I don't mind. Go I on. I don't mind it. What's yours? First time I ever went drinking is the first time I was sick. Really? Yes, because I had never drunk before in my life. And none of the people I was drinking with really had ever drunk in their lives. No, ever. people always... This is what... If there are any 14, 15, 16-year-olds watching this... First off, why? Slow. But like people, I could I could have talked about this in the in the school one, but I'll, I'll say it now. You're gonna hear a lot about guys or girls, your friends saying like, "Oh, we drank this much," or "I did this with this girl or this guy." They're fucking lying straight up. Like everyone, oh my god, we got so drunk off two big bottles of WKD. It's fucking WKD. A you probably couldn't even handle that much sugar. But B, you did not get fucking drunk. Like, everyone tries making themselves look bigger in school. They do. And a- everything you hear from your friends in school is bullshit. Continue. Yes. Um, I don't know why I moved that away. And neither do I. That was my mic um, drop. Yeah, that was your mic drop. Um, what was I saying? Uh, first time you threw up was yes. first time you went drinking. Oh, my God. No, we didn't really know how strong alcohol was. No. Like, so we all bought... A two-liter bottle of Strongbow each. Okay. I was told, like... How old are you at this point? Oh, my God. I'm probably, like, 14, something like that. Okay. Sorry, ma'am. That's before um, my... That's before my... Thing. Um, and then no one else really knew how strong it was. So we were all told that can if I you ask, don't eat... Can I ask where this is? Where this is taking place. Yeah. Are you allowed to say, like, is this someone's house or you... No, it's, it was in a field. Okay. Right, in Cumbran. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, it was... We were told that if we didn't eat anything all day, it would be stronger to go to your head quicker. Yeah. So I did that. Didn't eat anything but all dude, day. Dude, rookie mistake. I've made that mistake in my adult life, though. And I also didn't realise, or I didn't think, 
that it would take a few minutes for it to get from your stomach to your head. Like, I didn't realize that it would like, you know, take a few minutes for it to kick in. Yeah, yeah, your body yeah. digested it. So we proceeded to down the whole bottle each. We had a two-liter bottle oh, each in How about half an hour. How did you not throw up just off the fucking mat? Just I can remember, I don't remember getting drunk. I remember getting up to go and pee and just not being able to like stand properly. I did oh, find my way to a tree dude. and then I came back and <laughs> thought it would be a good idea. It was summer, so it was quite warm. I was like, I need to lie down and like sort this out. I need to have a moment with myself. <laughs> so I remember lying down. The next thing I remember is someone picking me up from a pool of my own sick. <laughs> and now I was on my hands and knees being sick <sighs> in this field. I've and been... then the people I was with decided that I needed to be taken home. Because I reached... That's the worst, though. I reached my tipping point. That is the worst when, like... You are so smart because you only get that state when you're not supposed to be around your parents, right? Yeah. Especially at that age. Well, even now, you shouldn't really be getting. So I did not want to do this. I did not want to go home and admit to yeah, my mum exactly. that I was drunk. Like, so I, as I'm like, I've got a person either side of me. I can't remember really who. Like, I, I had a person either side of me. I love how polite you are. You don't say anything. Like, I'm like, fuck it, can't got me drunk. This guy's trying to kill me. Like, I don't remember who. <laughs> I think one of them was <laughs> in school. We had lots of. Cool. Yeah, we did. I think all. I know what we're on about. I don't want to say his last name. No. But carry on anyway. Um, you know who you are. You do. And I remember trying to explain to them that they needed to tell my mum that I somehow had food poisoning. <laughs> I've been there. And I can remember getting to my front door and I can remember them saying, oh, I don't know if Dan's like had some... I can remember one of them saying, I don't know if Dan's had some like dodgy food or something. As I'm like collapsed against my bin. <laughs> Everyone's paying. I can remember saying, Donji chicken nuggets. And the next thing I remember is if getting upstairs. If that was true, you would have sued McDonald's so hard. I don't think it was, I don't know what, where this story came from. I don't even know if I'd eaten chicken nuggets that day. <laughs> but the next thing I remember is going up to bed and then waking up like a couple of hours later to the sound of my mum saying, oh yeah, he does look a bit pale, doesn't he? Ugh. And then I remember waking up, my mum was like, oh, so your friend said you've had some like dodgy chicken nuggets or something. And I was like, Yes. So how did you get the booze? Do you I remember? think we just knew someone like older that would just like we asked to buy it for us. Yeah. I've never done that. I, I think I have. Most people I got to buy me booze had fake IDs. Oh, like, right. I changed. No. Because that's probably incriminating, actually. Yes. <laughs> I won't go into too much into that. But. It's the desky road you walk. It is. <laughs> um, whoops. <laughs> so dude i've is, is so that your mum your mum was like i know I, you're lying she's gonna know now that it was like everyone's ever dude, discussed everyone's mum knows but i think i think she probably knew it was a lie i but she's never admitted to me that she knew it was a yeah lie. i don't i remember a time until now she is mum we'll discuss this over over lunch one I, day. I remember a time I'll pay. um <laughs> <laughs> house was like the place to go. It was like, it was moderate. That sounds really... It, for, for our lot, like, it was moderate. We'd have a barbecue and, like, there would be drink involved. This is, like, the yeah. age of, like... And I, I say I would... I would say I probably started drinking. I had drunk, but I, like, probably started drinking 15, 16. Like, I remember walking with Kurt pa past um, Fairwater High School going somewhere and Kit turned to me and being like we started drinking now like I remember him quite vividly I wasn't drunk at this point but I remember Kurt being like last year we weren't drinking this year we are like I remember him say, having that conversation with him I remember being mm. like fuck yeah we did start drinking this year and that was at about 16 we used to go out like I, if not every Friday every other Friday we try and get yeah that we'd all like chip in to like buy a crate of like I remember when a crate used to go Stella. around like eight people. <laughs> you had a beer each. <laughs> yeah. Um, so, dude, I've had many drinks. But the thing I said about uh, house then was because you checking that still film. I was, yeah, I think it is. Yeah, I remember um, my mum talking to his mum, being like, "Oh yeah, Dan's recently, you know, really, he's never really been one for drink. He's kind of started doing it." And and was like, you don't know your son. <laughs> Not in so many words, but she was just like, ah, oh, yes. Yeah, I don't, don't think that's quite quite the story. <laughs> but that was, uh, I remember having that conversation with my mum. That was funny. 
Um, but no, dude, I've had many drunken stories. I remember not not all. I mean, puke ones were always the worst. But like, I think one of the worst things I've ever been is when me and my sister didn't have a Halloween party when my mum was away. Is this the one um, I was there? Yes, this is I wasn't. When, this is the one when we decided to please play. Please let me. T- is this is this the Tyler one? Oh, yeah, it is. Please let me tell this story. Okay. So, it is not when we are nineteen. It wasn't. You weren't that young. I I think I was home from uni. You were like twenty. So this is this is not a long time ago. This is you. Yeah, you were an adult at this point. I was an adult. We were old enough to buy our own drink at least. Mm. Uh, Story did not have a ha- Halloween party. No, we didn't. So, me and Story. I'll take you out for dinner, Mum. I will pay. All right. So Story had a Halloween Sorry. party. Um, and there was a, probably about I'd say twenty people there, give or take. No, it was, it was me and you. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> uh, how how deep am I allowed to go with the story? Just just tell them. All right. Me and my sister still find we. Can you remember like we put like Happy Halloween stuff on the table? We still find those little sequiny things <laughs> from time to time. So, uh, Mr. Loader had a. Halloween party. A small gathering. A small gathering. Respectful gathering. Uh, respectful is probably the best word you can use. <laughs> so it's the word I would like to use. So um, we, I, I can't believe, remember who we introduced to, but there's a drinking game called Centurion, which is every minute you take a drink and you you lay out shots, but they're not so much shots of spirits. It was shots. literally like Budweiser we played it with. However. We decided to make it more interesting. Wasn't it like every five or ten? Was every an fifth shot? shot was like a an actual like shot. an alcohol pop shot. So it was like it was like sours or something. Fifteen percent like sours. We had uh, sours Mickey like thirty, Fins. dude. Sours is like fifteen. Yeah, okay, maybe. Or I don't like know why Mickey Fins remember. or something like that. And then every tenth shot, it was something like that. It was like vodka was or like Jaeger vodka or, or some like shit. the hard stuff. Yeah, so. I think, again, this is every minute. So it doesn't sound too much like shot, wait 57 seconds or whatever. It but is surprising. You've got to think, like, if you just did it with beer, you're drinking in 100 minutes. You've got to go for 100. Uh, that's the aim of the game. Um, you have, uh, like, three beers, four beers in, like, just under An two hour hours. Half, yeah. yeah, like, that's quite a lot when you think about it. Like, it's not... Like, maybe that's normal going for some people, but, like, you're drinking a four-pack in an hour and a bit plus in between that we were doing so every fifth shot was yeah so we we tried doing so hardcore that? that in itself every fifth shot is 10 shots over the course of it of sours plus 10 shots do we drank like a bottle of sours and like fucking cans of yeah. whatever we fucking had so we didn't complete the out i can remember we did distinctly remember we didn't complete it you i don't think we did and by but that I mean I don't think you did. Were you were fucking hammered. hammered. Like I, you, oh. you were worse than me. That I, was I worse remember than a lot that. of people on that. So the, it ended with me. Being Dude, sick let's in my not. Garden. Let's not. Let, oh, okay. It ended with me being, <laughs> That's being sick in my garden, falling asleep on my on my lawn, and then being woken up and told that I had to come inside to sleep, and then I fell asleep on a rug on my floor. But before we get to that, uh, Dan Loader has a sister. Yes, I do. Although we've said her name before, and yeah, that's I have a sister called Abby. But now everyone knows her last name, so mm-hmm. we've had it. And we also have a friend mm-hmm. called Tyler. And I don't know why, because I don't think they were even getting remotely close. But in my mind, <laughs> I, love it. I thought that there was my chemistry. sister and Tyler were going to end up. I'm pretty sure I told you. I I'm pretty sure I was like, dude, I think head. Tyler's macking on your sister. And <laughs> I walked into the kitchen, and for some oh. reason, the only. I, I, I don't. I, I, I don't have any problem with. Can I please tell with this? the situation of them getting together or anything? If you know, I didn't. Ha- I can't remember not having a problem, but so, for some reason, brotherly right instincts then, right kicked then, in. You were like, and I, I ha- felt like I needed to do something. You need about to defuse it. the situation. There's chemistry. There's hormones. This needs to stop. It's my sister. You will not defile her, Tyler. So tell him what I did. So Dan Loader walks in the room, assesses the situation, and be like, I need to break up Tyler and. Abby, I need to get these two people away from each other. Mm -hmm. So what I need to do is distract one of them from the other. So what he could have done is talk to his sister or got one of us to have a chat with Tyler or in fact have a chat with Tyler. He could have just said, dude, are you trying to hit on my sister? There were a number of options. What he did was decided to French kiss Tyler to get him so weirded out he wasn't going to try it on with Abby anymore. 
And that, that, dude, that is an amazing story. That's so good. I don't know what ho- fucking hoops your brain jump through to get to diffuse the situation, snog my best friend. Like, how did that? Literally, the, the thing that my brain was saying was, you either have to kiss your sister <laughs> or you have to kiss Tyler. There is no, th- those were the only two things. And to I be fair really... to Tyler, he did not pull out. Like, you kissed Tyler. You may deny it, Tyler. But you enjoyed that. Oh, that was a great... Oh, dude, that's so good. Um, there's been... Change... But it ended up... We, like, we walked to town. Like, we walked to Cumbria Is that why we walked to Yummies, we, back? Or walked we to We were going to walk to Yummies, but in the end, it was only me and <laughs> that did it. And we walked into Asda, bought a bottle of water... That was the same day? Back. That was the same day. God, I thought that was a different day. No, we've not... We haven't had one party. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> Um, Mum, I'll take you out this is weird. Why I'll did... take you out to dinner all week. We all have week. basically made a medium where we just confess to our sins. That's what this is doing. <laughs> For the too. world to know. Um, I remember... We're old enough now. We can... Yeah, I, I can take my dad on. Like, I, I feel... <laughs> I, don't, I don't think I can take my mum on. She'd batter me. Uh, <laughs> um, my parents know about this one, but this ranks, like, high on the self... Like, on the embarrassment scale. Uh, we were around our friend called I I was a fucking asshole that night. Like I remember being a twat. I she had cans of strongbow and she said, Help yourself. Cool. Drank a load. And then she was like, Look, you're being a bit boisterous, you need to calm down. This is the kind of like when I had to learn my limit. Mm. And I'm not sure if you were there. I think you might you must have been. I would have assumed we wouldn't have had a party, like and you wouldn't have been there unless you were doing something. You may this have been before we started hanging out, I'm not sure. I don't I don't think so. I was with I can't, I, can't, I can't really say a n- Okay. Or it was like that time. Did I okay. know you at that point? I must have. I met her in PA. I, yeah, but I don't think I started hanging around you until after that. Oh, we must Because you weren't... I remember that like one of the first nights we hung out was the August after I'd finished uni. And I'd finished my first year. And I think you... We just invited you. You were in PA in the sandbox. We were like, dude, we're going out. Or something like that. Or did we go to Sarah's? And then we were like, dude, come. That that sounds familiar to me. But anyway, this we should that should be a topic for another time. How we met and like how the we'll history of us. There we go. We'll we'll, we'll add it to the list. This um this night I was being rather rambunctious of a boy. I was being very boisterous, and I don't know if we got I got into an argument or whatever. But she, she was like, "You need to stop drinking," and I was like, "Okay." And then carried on drinking. Like, <laughs> I, dude, I was not in a good way. And eventually I was like, I'm going to go home. Good. He lives by here, for instance, um, past a little bit of grass with a path. My folks lived here. It was literally a five minute walk. You could throw a stone and hit them. Mm-hmm. Hit one from the other. Yeah. I walked from her house, sat down in this little bit of grass, fell asleep, threw up. Walk. This is more of like this is just bad. Got home. Somehow managed to put my phone on charge, so it wasn't that bad. <laughs> I remember. I remember that. Um, got to bed. Went to sleep. Woke up, and there's always that split second. I think this might be my first hangover or first real bad one at least. Like, I remember it. And there's always that split second when you've had a heavy night where you're like, I don't feel that bad, and then suddenly the world goes. And you're like, oh, oh God, no. So that moment happened. And my mum, I, I think I woke up to my mum or dad banging on the door. And they were like, I was in bed. And they were like, come on, shower's on, time to go to school. And I was like, it's Sunday or it's Saturday. Like, I'm not going, I'm not going to school. They're like, no, come on, get up. And I was like, no, guys, give me a sec. And then suddenly the world starts closing. Oh. And I was like, no, no, I, I, give me a bit. And they're like, move the sheets. And I was like, Why? I moved the blanket and I had a layer of puke down me. Oh. Dude, I had thrown up in my bed down me. My folks were like, get in the shower. It will do you good. And I was like, oh my God. Got in, cleaned up. And dude, at this point, I am in, I am like literally in crying in pain. Like my head is <laughs> fucking dire. You know the shriveled head in Harry Potter? That's what, what the, you feel like. That's what I felt like. The yeah. fucking, and I had a shower and my dad was like, right, come on, come in the car. And I'm like, no, dad, I can't. I can't move. Like that sort of like motion sickness you get where it's like like a really if you put bad. me in this car, this is going to happen again. Yeah. So he was like, No, you're coming you're coming to Cardiff for me and we're gonna buy a printer. 
And we and obviously <laughs> oh, he brutal. did it so he we could have a chat and we had that whole like father son like or parental sort of like right what happened how did you get in this mess but like I was just sat there and I was like that I'm you need to stop the car because I'm going to throw up and I did stop the car threw up and like I oh dude like there's parenting and then there's torture like <laughs> that was terrible and he found the line <laughs> um that was that was bad but again I put my phone on charge but like <laughs> dude I must have Is had that, like, I must have had 15 20 cans for myself like I literally drank a like a fucking massive crate to myself. I, that's what I feel like, at least. I drank too much. Oh. Uh, those are the nights. The ones where you can't remember exactly how much you drank. There's always... I'm not sure if we should get into the... Fuck it. Why not? Um, <laughs> this isn't so much a drunken story, but just a slutty story. Where are you going? we got four minutes left. Um, do you remember when... Had a party with a doll. No, I don't know if you were there or not. I might not have been. I was there. I, I'm 17, 18. I want to see. I probably wasn't there then because I didn't. We didn't really start hanging out until I came back from properly since I came back from uni. Um, there was a. This is more of like an. Um, God, I got some fucking stories. This is more. Of, I think we may need to do a drunken stories part two at some point. Yeah, down definitely. the line. This was more of a like reckless night. And um, mum, please put your head. Yeah, please turn this video off. Or dad, please turn this video off. We had so this girl in school had a um, pie in like I don't like a barn or I don't even know what it was. It was like someone's yeah. land and like they hired out. It was it was a hall, but it wasn't a hall. It was, you know, the nursery with the doll, like with the lanes. Sort of. Doesn't matter. Um, it was. Think of it. It's just. It was just a big room with like music okay. and stuff in, right? Yeah. And uh, me and <laughs> rock up, and we've been invited, and it's her birthday, and blah blah, and we're all drinking, and we all have not too much, but we're all we're all drunk. Everyone in that room is drunk, and there's music, and everyone's having a good time, having a bit of a dance. There's food, blah blah blah, and <laughs> this is <laughs> in a nutshell. But <laughs> turns to be, or I think I turned. To Kissed Jordan, her birthday, right? Kissed it. Is, are we okay to do this? Is is this like? Dude, there's no names. Is... There's no there's no real names. Okay. Continue. Do you think? I want to know, know where it ends. I want to know how this goes. So it, it's not it's not that bad, right? <laughs> so this is just teenagers being teenagers. Kisses, and I turn to, and I'm like, I'm gonna kiss more women than you tonight. I've heard this story. I issued him a challenge. This is terrible. I am a terrible human being for doing this. And I said, I'm, I'm going to issue you a challenge. I'm going to kiss more women than you tonight. I bet you. I, I kissed someone. And then he kissed someone. And then eventually word got out that we were playing this game. Like, everyone like knew that we were like... So eventually it wasn't so much like, hi, how you doing, blah, blah, blah. Like, go in. It was just like, like me and playing a game? Like, can I... Uh, but then people we were kissing started playing the game as well. So every, eventually, everyone in this room was playing who can kiss the most people. So everyone just ended up on the same number. Oh, yeah. Like, it was so, so bizarre. And it just turned into, like, oh, can I, can I, can you grab me a beer? Can I have a kiss? Like, it, dude, it was the most weird orgy night I've ever had in my life. Weird. It was, it was funny. Like, I think it was hilarious. Like, me and turned like it's, yeah it's mean to be like oh, I'm gonna kiss more girls than you tonight but like you we were like 17 like that's just what 17 year old boys are like mm. I say boys because we were boys we weren't we were just children it's like when you go to your first six one party and you're like oh, I'm just gonna mack on every woman in here and fail that's why it eventually turned into like I'm playing a competition can I kiss you because we had no <laughs> game let me just lay my cards on the table <laughs> dude this right. is it like this is this is how this is going down I need to kiss you for scores. Can I please? <laughs> can I please kiss you? God, how no one got like <laughs> fucking. Like, oh, my future lies with him. <laughs> <laughs> he is so noble and true. And that's that's how you get the women. Apparently, just no. be truthful. That's what that story teaches. The moral of that story is just tell the truth. You know. You and gotta, I think that's what we've done for the last. You ain't, half hour. You ain't got to play games. You we've gotta definitely just... spent the last half hour telling the truth. We have. Should we wrap this up? 
I think we probably should. I would like to come to a drunk. I have loads more stories. I have recent stories, which is We probably... will... Yeah, I think we need to do like a drunken timeline. This will probably be a multi-part thing. Drunken Whatever, stories. Whenever we can't get to the topic, we will do drunken stories part two. Okay. Okay, well, thanks for watching, guys. I'm Dan Howells. That's Dan Loader. This is the 2D Show. Remember, every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, we bring you a new video and audio podcast for your listening pleasure of topics of that we bring and also that you guys can bring. And you can bring those to us by tweeting at 2D Show, and you can email us at topics at 2 dshowcom There we go. There's music. Uh, well, there will be. So and many music. So many music. Yes. So many music. At the end of every show, we want to bring, like, introduce you guys to music from our own community. So you guys can email us and tweet us again at 2D Show at topics at 2D Show.com and be like, hi, I'm from this band or this band or I'm this rapper or I'm and whatever. And we will get, if you can give us a either an MP3 or a download link, we'll embed you in the end of every episode. And if you can give us a YouTube link, we will annotate you to your video at the end of our YouTube segments. Yes. Um, again, push up your views and not ours. Yeah, because it's you know it's nice that way. So yeah, get in touch and you know just have fun, hang out with us. I feel like you know us a bit better now. Yeah, dude, like <laughs> this got real fast. Yeah. Um, so yeah, thanks for watching, guys. And remember, like, share, subscribe, get the message out. The more people that like the show, the more diverse topics we're going to have and the more dark shit you can find out from our past and if you feel like we owe you an explanation already please get in touch <laughs> <laughs> remember JK we, Rowling we will take we are, you out. I am pushing this JK Rowling campaign tweet at JK Rowling the 2D boys the 2D boys the, we say the 2D the, the 2D, 2D show, show would like you on to talk like, about I the HP like you're universe just bringing it here to disrespect it hashtag I don't want to do that Chew it out. I don't want to disrespect you. Hashtag it chew it out. So again, thanks for watching, guys, and we will see you next week. Remember the Sunday omnibus for all the little bits in between. Done. Is that a two wheel?